Washington is broken. Nothing proves that more than our fiscal challenges. For the last four years, terms like continuing resolution, fiscal cliff, and debt ceiling have become a part of Washington's daily vocabulary. Almost every important budget deadline has been met with impasse, and little has been done to enact a responsible budget. Systematic failure to perform the most basic responsibilities of government has led us to the threshold of another potential catastrophe as deadlines for the debt ceiling, sequestration, and the continuing resolution approach. No business could operate like this for very long, and no government should be allowed to operate like this any longer. That's why I ran for Congress, to bring some common sense, conservative solutions to balance the budget and then turn the economy around. The person who shoulders most the responsibility for this mess is President Obama. Time and time again, he has failed to show leadership. With the unemployment rate still hovering around 8%, his main focus should be on creating jobs, growing the economy, and ensuring America maintains its leading role in the world by having a strong national defense. But it's not, and probably will never be, this President's focus. Since the last budget was passed in 2009, 15 continuing resolutions have been required to keep our government open. The debt has grown from $11 trillion to nearly $16.5 trillion, and the statutory debt limit has been raised five times. The level of indecision by the President has led to a downgrade in the U.S. credit rating and an unpredictable marketplace. Yet the only proposal from the President has been to increase taxes on businesses and hardworking taxpayers. It's time we stop repeating mistakes of the last four years and start enacting pro-growth legislation that empowers our free enterprise system, grows our economy, and strengthens our families. Let's address the real problem threatening our nation's financial future, Washington's reckless spending habit. We can do this by passing a responsible budget, examining programs in need of reform, and making decisions with the same principles as families and businesses owners do across the country. The American people understand that you can't spend more money than you have coming in. That's the bottom line. I am a small business owner of 41 years. I'm confident that if we can cut through the politics, we can find common ground to do what's right for the country. We all have our work cut out for us, and it will not be easy. So let's go to work and get this done for generations now and generations to follow.